Hi everyone. Today I'm going to read a book. It's called Cozy by Jan Brett. It's published by J.P. Putnam's and Sons. What is this creature on the front? Let's find out. Storms rolled over the tundra when Cozy, the musk ox, was separated from his herd. He was used to being with his family. His mother and father had named him Cozy because his silky coat was so soft and thick. Cozy braced himself against the wind, and his thick coat warmed him like a blanket. See him? He's a musk ox. Wow. Pretty neat. In a tussock, a mother lambing puppy was squealing wildly. I'm cold, I'm cold. She used a triple carry to tunnel them toward a new spot where she saw a towering mountain of fur. In no time, the lemming family settled in next to Cozy's left hoof. Shh, she whispered. Quiet voices, and that musk ox will never notice us. See him? See him over by his foot? I see them. They're very big. Snowshoe Hare, feeling chilly, had the same idea. Master musk ox, he said politely, may I wait out the storm under the protection of your very thick coat? Cozy was happy for the company and well aware that a lemming family had snuck in. He said, welcome, snowshoe hare, but mind those lemmings, quiet voices and gentle thumping only. See him? You can see him down here in the, in the hoofs. There he is talking to the muskox. Snow swirled and some selling all grew white. Was it a clump of snow that had hit Cozy on the forehead? No, it was feathers. When Cozy opened his eyes, he was looking into big yellow ones. What did, what flew into Cozy? Does anybody see? Let's find out what hit Cozy. The eyes belonged to a snowy owl who had a request. Oh, magnificent Omamak, would you be so kind as to give me shelter? The wind has tumbled me terribly. Cozy knew that Snowy Owl and Lemmings and Snow Hares were not always fast friends, but he agreed with some conditions. House rules are quiet voices, gentle thumps, claws to yourself. See him? He's letting them come in, isn't he? Wonder who's next? Let's find out. Arctic Fox's nose was turning blue. Her bushy tail wasn't warm enough. And every time she wrapped it around herself, the wind unwrapped it. Thinking Cozy would make a good windbreaker, she slided up next to him. Do you mind, Mr. Muskog, if I unfreeze my nose in your thick fluff? Cozy was happy to welcome a new guest, but eyeing her sharp canines, he answered, For the harmony of all, quiet voices, gentle thumping, claws to yourself, and no biting. See him? Let's find out who else. As winter went by, the storms grew worse. The wind blew and blew, and a low, humpy shape appeared, swaying and shuffling. Its coat was covered with ice balls. Shaggy beast, it growled. I fell into an ice floe, and I am chilled to the bone. Can you help me? Cozy was happy to invite the wolverine in, but added the house rules. Quiet voices, gentle thumping, claws to yourself, no biting, and no pouncing. Okay, what else happens here? Cozy's new friends cleaned their coats, preened their feathers, napped, and were glad for their comfy shelter. But then, above the wind, the animals heard, yip, yip, yip. What do you think is coming? What is coming, do you think? Can you see the cozy picture over there? Oh, I see something. Let's find out. A team of huskies, always on the lookout for a good thing, barreled into Cozy's big bulk, flinging the creatures in all directions. Their musher, a sea otter, looked on in dismay. Sea otter being a musher? Huh. Knocked everybody out from underneath them, didn't it? Hi, the lead dog grinned. House rewards course to jostle lemming, snowshoe hare, snow owl, arctic fox, and wolverine. Quiet voices, gentle thumping, 
claws to yourself, no biting, no pouncing, and be mindful of others. Cozy, wary of the lead dog, who looked a lot like a wolf, shook, shook, shook his horns to make sure the musk huskies understood. See them? See if they follow the house rules. As time went by, the wind calmed a little, and the Arctic sun climbed higher in the sky. The animals felt more at home every day, but Cozy had spring fever. I want to find my family. How can I move about with these visitors underfoot? See him? You think he's going to find his family? Let's find out. The house rules were stretched every day. One was a nibble would bite. One was a hoot, quiet or loud. There was bumping, making faces, and nobody was saying, I'm sorry. See him? One sunny day, the lemmings were playing climbing the ladder. A great chunk of Cozy's coat came off. Then another hank came off in snow to Owl's Talon. Cozy remembered this from last year. Shedding meant it was finally spring in Alaska. Hank by hank, all of Cozy's warm silk winter coat drifted down the slope. See him? They're all yanking his fur because he's shedding in me. Let's see what happens after all this happens. I think he might find his family. Maybe. Cozy's lodgers started heading to their spring homes. Cozy hadn't felt so free and breezy since he was a calf. He jumped, he gabbled, and then in the middle of a gleeful leap, he saw his herd. See him? He ran to join his mother, his father, his sister, and his brother. Where were you? We were worried, said his sister, Fluffy. We miss you, said his brother, Snuggly. I made some new friends, Cozy told them, but it was nice to get back to Musk Ox ways. See what his family? He did find his family in the end, didn't he? They all formed a circle, babies in the middle, but Cozy felt curiously alone. Then the breeze carried squeaky and growling with whistling voices. See you next year, Cozy. Meet you when the snow flies, Cozy. The snowshoe hair thump, 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 as they all called. We can't wait to get Cozy with Cozy. The end. If you would like this book, this book is a new book here today in October. We just got him, but um, it's a new book and it'll be waiting here at the library. So if you'd like to read about Cozy, here he is. So come on and get him. Bye.